Uh, welcome to day one of the DIY Super Electric Longboard Scooter. Today we start with building the frame. I start off with a piece of scrap metal, measure it, and cut it in half. So now I start cutting these support pieces and taking apart the bicycle. This is an old scrap bicycle I had sitting in the yard for years. So it's not very good condition, so perfect for this. Uh, plasma cut it. All I want is uh, the main steering assembly in the front. So I decided to keep the bottom bar also stronger if you don't cut uh, and weld and cut and weld and cut and weld so this is all one permanent piece take apart the handlebar assembly it's uh, pretty rusted and dirty so clean off some of the rust I clean all the bearings and stuff later on uh, take this thing apart part that holds the handlebars on it was kind of hard. <laughs> A lot of rust on it. And there we go. So the brakes were stuck inside that thing. Uh, putting it all back together for now. Just to mock everything up. Trying to make everything level. Make some marks. Here's where I'm going to cut it. Here's a rough cut. And now slowly leveling everything out and then working to get a nice u-shape so we can weld the pipe into that turned out more like a v but it works making sure everything's level and cutting the piece to its length I also added an angle and now we're making a nice little cover. I'm going to cut this piece with the plasma cutter and there we go. Nice little cover. So this piece and that piece. Now my original plan was with this long board but that was a little too long so I had to switch over to another skateboard. Uh, so drill some holes. These match uh, standard skateboards and longboards. Same bolt pattern. Countersink. Now to weld this up. So a couple tacks here and there. Make sure everything's nice. And I was using a box over there to hold it in place. Now I'm welding these support pieces on. This is where the longboard will bolt onto and uh, that will hold the rest of the bike together well scooter whatever it is tax 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 lots of tack welds now for the cover I use a magnet to hold it in place for the first tack weld continue tack welding a little grinding here and there make everything nice And now to figure out what room I have left on this plate and how I'm going to attach that. So right there, everything's aligned. Some quick tack welds. Verify everything. And now for the rear. I reused a, a mini bike motorcycle thing, a cheapy thing, the rear end from it for the tire and the assembly. So that's it for this uh, day. Let's see tomorrow's. Stay tuned for day number two. Thank you for watching and please consider supporting us on our Patreon page. Thank you. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, comment, everything whatever everything